Hey guys, welcome back. Today I got Marcus with me and we're going to be looking at this picture frame. So for some reason, Marcus is really found by the picture frame. Are you excited about it? Yes. He thinks it would be awesome to have family photos and supposedly this thing can even do videos. So we're pretty excited to unbox this thing. So let's take a closer look. Alright dude, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Hmm. So this is how it comes in. So here we have some specs, which has quite a few. And you can see here it does video and audio and obviously pictures. So this is the 8 inch version. They actually have, I think, a 10 inch version also. But the resolution is the same. So we went ahead and went with the 8. Alright Marcus, let's open this thing up. Alright, so that looks like the picture frame. And we have a couple more other things in here. Looks like a manual and another box. I'm guessing probably power supply. Okay, so it is. Oh, and there's what? Oh, there's a remote. There's a remote, dude. Wow. You can oh. control your pictures. All right, so we have the power supply and looks like some kind of mount or stand, maybe. All right, so let's open it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a square. Very cool. It looks like you have some mounting points there. There's the speakers. There's all your controls. And there's the media. This is where the SD card goes. Looks like it has USB, micro USB, and a power plug. Very interesting. So the brand is Apison, and that's the specs on it right there. So it looks like they have a little protection over the screen. All right, so this is everything that it comes with, and a manual, I guess. So this looks like the stand that goes in here, I think just like that and so now it's able to stand all right Marcus let's go ahead and plug this adapter in and give it some power okay there it goes wow that's actually pretty nice quality oh dang there's like a screensaver I guess that's oh. and menus did you expect it to be this nice no me neither so we have navigation with these buttons here volume play stop and things like that and menu is on the bottom and the power buttons up here so there's quite a few buttons to push let's see if we can figure out how to use this thing so going side to side obviously chooses the menus here so it's saying we have no media at the moment but we do have a calendar let's see what that looks like oh wow look at that you can see me too so it shows you the date and the time look at that so if you push the middle button here it changes to a different type. Like right now, it's all digital. That's pretty cool, yeah? Yeah. Push it again. Look at that. It becomes into a calendar. Mm -hmm. Dude, I could use this. Maybe you should try to use the remote. I like this a lot. This is kind of cool. So if we click it again, we get a calendar, but with an analog clock. It's a little bit hard to click those buttons in the back. Marcus just gave me a good idea. He said, why don't you just use the remote? Instead of just pressing these on the back. I know. That's why I need you, bro. Tell me. All right, so let's use the remote. That makes more sense. I totally forgot we even had a remote. Piece of plastic here between the battery. All right, so the remote works. Super cool. So let's go to settings. All right, so here's all our settings. English language, slide speed, repeat all, out of play, photo, out of copy off, reset settings. Break point play, brightness, alarm setup. Whoa, this thing even has an alarm. The date, the hours. The time, you can program it to turn on and off at certain times. That's pretty interesting. All right, so let's put an SD card in there. So we recently went on a vacation and we took quite a few photos and videos. Well, let's see how that will work here. So it does take a full SD card, looks like. Okay, so the SD card goes in a little tight, but it does go in. It's It faces out to the back and it's ultra close to the uh, edge here. So, All right, let's see. Oh. So I automatically just started playing what the, what was on the SD card. So that's Mila right there. She's on the road taking pictures. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe we should exit for now. So it auto plays right away once you put something in there. 
So now we have all the options to choose from. Let's go to photo. Hold on, what if we click the photo button? There's a photo button on the remote. Okay, so if I click the photo button, it automatically goes straight to the photos. Oh, well, that's cool. Sorry guys for all the glare and it's kind of hard to see. We're kind of in a bright room here. Maybe we should have picked a darker place to record this. All right, so we went underneath the table, so hopefully there's a little less glare. So anyways, it looks like it just randomly plays photos and the quality is actually quite good. I don't know how good the uh, camera here is going to produce it, but very good from about a foot away. You can't really tell there's any pixels or anything. All right, so the photos work very cool. Let's try the movie mode. So I'm gonna click the movie on the remote here. Oh, there it goes. For what? Okay, it's playing, but it's having a hard time. I'm thinking the format is maybe not good. There's actually also volume, guys. So this was recorded at 1080p. 60 frames per second maybe that's the problem maybe it needs to be 30 or it needs to be 720p i don't know but as you can tell it's stretched because it's not the right format but i guess if you put the right format on there you would play flawlessly i would think but yeah guys the pictures work excellent and as you can see the colors and the brightness is actually quite good i mean it's not nothing crazy bright or anything but it's very reasonable for sure pixelation is not there at all like if you're a foot away you can't see the pixels so it's actually a quite nice image and it looks like you can access stuff here on the remote quite quickly like the calendar so if i click the calendar you know it'll go straight to that and we can change the type of calendar we're looking at by just clicking the enter button so pretty cool so overall it's pretty nice little digital picture frame so there's a quite a few of them different kinds but this is more of the budget kind and honestly the quality does not disappoint so overall it's quite a nice little thing i know marcus is probably going to take it for me yeah he is but that's okay once he gets tired of it then i'll probably use it but yeah if you have you know photos and you know memories that you want to just show off and stuff or it could be actually pretty nice for older folks that you know don't see their families a lot they can have them playing on here so but yeah you can imagine you can do quite just about anything and play on this thing so all right guys so i guess that'll be it for this video so overall marcus was giving this thing a thumbs up so if you're interested in one of these picture frames i'll leave a link for this one in the description so check that out and if you guys like this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this i do a lot of reviews and other things on this channel and if you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace, peace.